I have found a lot of nuggets here before while sniping. We have gold in the first rifau. Yeah, we got we got a piece. We got lead. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Chris, Kyle, Jason. <laughs> and Chris, Chris, Kyle, and Jason, and myself are gonna be doing some high banking today, and we're not gonna leave until we find 200 ounces. So let's go. So Chris designed and made these shirts for all of us for today, and I believe it's gonna give us good luck, but we don't need luck. We have wood. <laughs> this is where we're gonna go, right? Yeah, we're digging right here. Right here. Okay. Why are we digging right here? It's good dirt. There's. No dirt, it's just a lot of rocks. Well, the, the dirt's under the rocks. I'm gonna let Kyle set this up because I'm not a professional banker of highness. I think we're actually gonna set up right here. Exposed bedrock there, there's exposed rock behind me, but there's big boulders. I think we can actually dig here. There's ground we can move and actually put some material through. So the first reason it's good to have three people working with you is you can make everybody else deal with the prickle bushes. Ah! <laughs> So this spot is really, really difficult to work. And that's coming from me, which doesn't take much at all. But everyone else says it's difficult to work. So I'm just gonna do a test pan to, and see if it's actually worth working. If it's not, we'll go somewhere else. If it is worth working, we'll still probably go somewhere else. There might be maximum ounces in here, you never know. I usually check the, the classifier for nuggets, but we're not looking for nuggets today. We're looking for rocks. So test panning a spot before you high bank is a great way to find out if it's worth your time or not. Moment of tooth. Is there rocks in our pan? There's one rock. Okay, now we do the, the special wash back. Oh, look at that. We got one piece of fly poop right there. Yeah. Is there more fly poops? Some micro fly poops, but that is our first piece of nugget gold rock today. So one piece of gold, that's not bad. It does tell us that there is gold here. I don't think it's a big enough test for us to really know if we're, what we're gonna do, but we're gonna stick here anyway and just kind of see how we do. We might run out of material soon or we might not, but I don't know. It's all about the venture, isn't it? It's all about the adventure and the rocks. I like it's all rock. about being twins. Chris, how do you feel being a twin? Huh? That's how it feels. <laughs> huh? How does it feel being alone? Okay, now it's time to get to work. I've wasted too much time doing nothing, so let's see if we can find some gold. So this rock, <laughs> so this rock is having us troubles. It's not really working because it's too heavy. And everyone's so weak. <laughs> so I went to go get my camera so I could film Kyle set up the high banker and he's already done. And I've never seen something like this. So this is your high banker. It looks very, very light. Super light. I wish you had seen the start of it, but I think this one's about eight pounds. We'll get her all set up here. It'll be nice and solid, locked in, and then we'll see it running. The best thing about this high banker is the fact that it is purple. <laughs> I love that. So Chris here has been working on this rock forever. This is like super wedged in there. What we decided we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill up one bucket, do one quick test run to see if it's worth working here. These are removable mats and they piece together really easily. So when a clean out comes, you just pull one mat at a time. Sorry, this is uh, they're brand new. You just turn them upside down, flex them out. Boom, clean mat, On to the next one. And what's nice about this is there's no bolts or anything. So you're not doing like wing nuts and you're not having to do any of that. It just all peels together and you can slip it right back in. And you can clean it out in your pan. You don't have to do a giant five gallon bucket, you know, and like dip in it and everything. <laughs> I don't see anything shiny. Maybe one bucket, you never know. Exactly. We're not trying to find a lot of gold on the first test. We're just trying to do something a lot quicker than panning. That's an interesting way you're gonna pan there, bud. It is. Sorry, about to get it lower. Just, yeah. I got it. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Get you really into it, you know? That way you can spot the gold. So it's real nice. <laughs> okay, second moment of tooth. You do your wash back, you gotta sit back. That's the key, finding the gold. 
Let's we'll stand out of the way for a sec. You got a shadow. Yep. There we go. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look right at that. there. Yeah, we got we got a piece. Some fly poop. Fly poop right there. One. One. So it's a slow. That's two. Yep. Two pieces. Two. Three. A little speck. See that one right there? Oh yeah. It's a little tiny piece right there. Huh. So four pieces of fly poop. So a small handful of gold isn't bad for one bucket and we just touched the surface and I imagine if we move a big boulder or two we'll be able to get into some more premium stuff. Plus this area, I have found a lot of nuggets here before while sniping so moving a little bit into the bank could mean we could find some more nuggets. I spent a lot of time scratching around the boulders trying to loosen them up. There absolutely could be bigger gold underneath them, but not one of us thought to bring a bar to assist, so we're paying the price. All right, after 19 hours, I moved that rock all by myself. Liar. And now everyone is ready to dig some dirt. So how do you enjoy Canada? It's fantastic. I'm really tired though right now. This is hard work. <laughs> oh. Just making sure everything's going to play in here. Good job, boys. So like they say, teamwork makes the dream work. And when you have four people working together, you get things done a lot more efficiently. So we just decided we're gonna shut it down for now and see what we got in our first test. I'm predicting, I don't know, eight pieces of gold. What do you think? 3,800 pieces of gold. I love how simple this thing is to clean out. Do you we have any gold. nuggets? There's gold right there. Ugh. Yay! That's it. We have gold in the first rifau. That's a good sign that there is gold around. And do we have any nuggets? Oh. And 10 ounces? Any 10 ounces? Oh, so you start with the first mat. I like to do the first mat. Okay. Yeah, there, there's gold right there too. There's oh, yeah, gold right. all in this first rifau. Good, so more than eight fly poops. We're all gonna spit in here now to get the remaining stuff into the van. So Kyle is doing the pan number three. We have a lot of faith in him. No pressure. Moment of bananas. There's a bullet. Oh, we have a bullet. Wow. Our mission is complete. We found it. Oh, some candy. Not too big. So that's not bad for 40 seconds of high banking. We have a lot of pieces of fly poop, some lead shot, and even a bullet. I think that's a success for round one. So I love this place. It is so beautiful. You have the river running, green trees, blue skies, fresh air. Mm -hmm. I could live out here, except for the mosquitoes, bears, cougars, and ticks. I wouldn't live out here. What do you feel about sniping? How was that? Oh, gold sniping was the most amazing experience I've ever had, honestly. But I didn't realize how hard it was and, and the amount of work. Shoveling is one level, but then sniping is a whole nother level. So I don't know which one's harder now at this point. So I took everybody gold sniping, and the reason why I didn't make a video is because I lost my camera. But if you stick around to the end, I'll show you all the gold that we found. So keep watching. So while Chris, Kyle, and myself were wasting time, Jason, did all the hard work and he prepped the whole site for us for round two. Thank you, Jason, you did a good job.
So this isn't a promotional video, but you designed that high banker and I love it. So tell me about it. Yeah, thanks, Polly. I designed it because I was tired of breaking my back and hauling my stuff in. Uh, I was actually losing friends over it because I was like, yeah, let's haul in this 100 pound system and it's super light. You don't take apart any fasteners. You don't take anything off of it. So you can't lose any components. You can't lose a wing nut and then be down for the day. The idea is light, fast, get in, get out, and you don't have to kill yourself. Yeah. So it looks like we're on bedrock. It's good and bad. It's bad in the sense that we're running out of material to run, but it's also good because this is where you find the better pieces of gold. So round two took a little bit longer and I didn't film as much on this one because it's all the same shots as round one. Okay, 11D hours later, we are calling it round two. So we're done. We're gonna clean up and see how much gold we found. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have more gold in the second round than we did on the first one. So only one way to find out. Is there any gold that we can see right away? I don't see anything yet. I see <gasps> there's some rocks. That's a good sign that there could be rocks nearby. Right there. Oh, right there. Mm. A little itty bitty piece. <gasps> some glowing fly poop. I like to do the first mat. I like how quick it is just to clean the mat. In and out. Hope we get more than that in there. There's lead, I see some lead too. More yeah. lead? Quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Lead rhymes with gold, so I'm happy with lead. The final pan of the day. How many pieces of lead did we find? Are you excited today, mate? Oh, I'm excited out here. We're in the wall back. We're, in, we're right here in nature. You can see fish, you can see bugs, and more importantly, you can see the gold. All right, moment of tooth. Yes, we got lead. Beautiful lead. All right, so the first round was much better. That's okay, you can't win every time, but there is gold here, so that lets us know that there is gold here. I blame Chris. So unfortunately, I don't think that is enough gold to weigh, so I won't go home and weigh it. However, you made it this far. I'm gonna show you all the gold that we found when we were sniping that day without my camera. So here is all the gold we found together. Yes, you guys can probably notice some chunkier bits, including this big nugget. Now, I didn't film a full video of this because I have lost my GoPro camera. However, I'll show you this shot when I found it. <laughs> that is a beautiful nugget. It weighs 3.62 grams and all this stuff we didn't weigh. The chunkier bits were from sniping too and all the fine bits were from high banking today.